G'day everyone, welcome to this photography tip. Uh, for this tip I just wanted to go through a process that I use to um, sort photos from a photo shoot. So typically when photographers go out they might shoot hundreds or even thousands sometimes of, uh, of photos that they want to sort through and only keep a certain amount uh, which is usually a, a lot smaller amount like out of a thousand photos you might only keep 50 to 100 um, so you need to be able to sort through all those photos um, reasonably quickly uh, this process is based on those that have the Adobe photography plan so I used to sort um, all my photos out just using Lightroom and ticking the ones that I wanted to import but I found that to be a a slow and sometimes time-consuming process if you've um, if, especially if you've got a lot of photos and Lightroom can be a bit slow so um, what I use now is um, a program called Adobe Bridge uh, Adobe Bridge is actually part of the photograph Adobe photography plan so you can actually download that as part of your plan for free so it's a it's a free way to um, to quickly sort and um, categorize your photos into the ones you want to get rid of and ones you want to keep um, so here I've got Adobe um, bridge open um, over on the file structure on the left hand side I've got at the moment I've got it pointing to my SD card that I want to with all the photos on it that I want to review and I've also got a, like a temp um, folder structure so got a, a file name temp there that I just used to temporarily dump you know the ones I want to keep in there I'll show you how to do that in the in a minute but for now we just want to go back to where um, just gonna flick through back to where I was so what I, I was just going to use these few photos here because I haven't actually Im, um, imported them I've actually just got to unstar them so so with bridge um, firstly if you haven't got this uh, if you open up a Adobe bridge and you haven't got this file structure or this sort of view what you can do is go up to the top um, tabs up here and you might have one of these others um, selected um, you know you might have something like this or or another another format so the one you one you want to select is library so that gives you you know your um, file structure on the left film strip and then a preview of the file that you've got selected so you can actually um, change the size of these thumbnails as well so you can make them bigger or or smaller or whatever I generally like to have them reasonably small because you can just that way it gives you a bigger preview to navigate between these you can just click um, with your mouse but um, I find a, um, one of the best ways is um, I just use the right arrow so I can just quickly um, navigate through those through those files now the way I select um, the ones I want to keep is I use this star rating down the bottom so you can either click them with your mouse but I find a, a quicker way so if you hold down con control or command on a Mac and just hit the so you go control and then hit the number one that will give you a one star rating so you can use whatever you like um, to, to rate you can if you want a five star rating you can go control five or you know what use whatever you want so you can use the corresponding number for how many stars you want depending on what what other systems that you use so I've actually got a few other one star photos in this um, in this folder so I'm actually going to use um, a two star for this actual exercise so I'm going to go control two and then I'm just going to navigate to the next photo using the arrow so the numbers are fairly close so you can just have one finger on control and one on the right arrow and one on the on the one or two button whichever one you want yeah, and I just find that's really quick to navigate and quickly select um, what photos you want if you get to the next photo say and you go oh that one's a bit better than the previous one you can go back and you can actually hit control zero and that takes you back to a zero star rating so it's a quick way to undo your the uh, photo that you've previously rated 
So I'm just going to go through here and I'll just mark these two as control as a two star, so with control two. So we'll just use those three photos. So now what I now what I do is um, I go up to the top right here and there's a um, little um, filter icon in the top menu bar here. So you can just drop that down and you can filter by star rating. So on this occasion, I, you want to use um, two or more stars. So I'll select show two or more stars. And there you can see I've got the three photos in the film strip that that I've selected as two star <coughs> two star rating. So on this occasion I've had other photos in there that have been one star rated and of course they don't show because I only want to see the two star um, photos. So now I just select all of those. You can either select hold control or command and just select them all or you can um, just select the first one and then hold shift and select the last one. And you can see you've got all three photos. Then I just drag them into my, um, over here in my file structure, I've got a temp file. So I've got a, a temp um, folder here that I want to use. So I'll just drag them into there. If I go to that now, you can see there I've got my three three files um, that I want to um, that I want to keep. So what I do now is, if you want to go and import them into Lightroom, so you go into Lightroom and hit the import um, button down in the bottom left here. And normally, um, typically, when you import into Lightroom, you just import off a off your SD card. So if I click on my SD card, there you can see I've got all my all my photos there on, that are on my SD card. But on this occasion, I just want to go um, to my RAID storage, which is where my temp file um, is. So I go to temp files and then temp. So I select the folder where I dragged the two. Um, or the three files to before and you can see there I've got them in Lightroom and they're already ticked and ready to import. So I'm not actually going to import them now but if you just hit the import button down here then they, and they import into Lightroom and then you can um, yeah, categorize them and or, or edit them or, um, or um, do whatever you want. Um, I just I just find that yeah Adobe Bridges yeah it's a it's a lot better way of um, quickly um, quickly sorting um, a lot of files out because you can quick a lot quickly more quickly navigate um, through each photo whereas Lightroom has got a bit of lag between each photos as it loads yeah so I just find that a lot quicker so hope you enjoyed that photography tip I'll catch you next time cheers